Yo. Yo, this is probably, uh, this is probably one of the worst dental calculus and dental, dental tartar cases I had ever seen as a dentist. So we're going to see how the dentist is going to uh, clean all of this. Welcome everyone to the channel. My name is Dr. Mo and I'm a dentist. Let's watch how this is going to happen. But before anything, put a like on the video, comment. It helps the YouTube algorithm to push uh, the video. Oh my God. What is this? Okay, so very, very heavy. Uh, dental capless and dental tartar uh, deposits even covering uh, the uh, we'll call it the occlusal surface uh, of certain teeth it's extending up to uh, like the upper uh, third of some teeth so we have the lower third middle third and upper third uh, of a, a crown oh oh my god okay so they're just huge deposits of Calculus being removed. Uh, if if you don't know what this is, this is called an ultrasonic scalar, and the reason it has uh, water coming uh, off is to help actually with the uh, the cooling primarily, and also to help uh, to clean uh, the tooth surface and push uh, the debris away. But <clears throat> it's basically used as a coolant uh, method. Why? Because we don't want uh, a lot of heat uh, to be uh, generated on the tooth uh, surface. Okay, so we are just, <laughs> it's looked like um, a really bad city. Okay, this is probably one of the almost heaviest uh, calculus deposits I had ever seen. Okay. So a lot of people during a dental cleaning may say, oh, look at the, how the whole thing just comes off. Okay, may say like, for example, well, um, why is there for bleeding? Well, because the gums had been uh, inflamed underneath all of these uh, calculus uh, deposits. And uh, as soon as uh, we uh, remove them, of course, the gums are going to be inflamed, are going to be very highly prone uh, to bleeding. Oh my God, completely insane. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, we're trying to remove even some calculus deposits on the top third of the uh, tooth uh, crown because this is how far it's extending. Oh my God, it's really some <laughs> bad case of calculus. Oh. So we even need to clean uh, those parts as well. So as you can see, we don't just do uh, like a one tick and the whole thing is removed. We need to uh, remove it gradually, especially if it's something huge like this and to ensure that there are not really that many uh, calculus or dental tartar deposits uh, remaining. As you can see, although uh, the uh, operator here did clean that uh, uh, other side uh, the bleeding uh, slowly uh, stops why because uh, we have a typical uh, bleeding time and at some point um, which is few minutes by the way uh, for a lot of people uh, it varies between each individual and another but the bleeding will stop it's not like the whole thing will continue bleeding Okay, so as we can see, this is the end result. Tell me what you think in the comment section, but I would like to go a bit back to here. So that is where they started. So they start from the left side. Okay, so as you can see, trying to make separation line between the calculus uh, in uh, some teeth and going uh, all the way if from there, it is basically so they're just trying to remove this whole bulk of dental calcus and dental tartar. Uh, Dr. Mo, dentist was with you. Thank you everyone for watching.